you know, th there was a time when l the larger the corporation, the more likely it was to have its own lab. And big companies had labs that were famous for producing all sorts of innovations, sometimes the ones they expected to produce, and at other times ones that happened by coincidence. And actually that uh, idea of serendipity remains at the heart of this. The difficulty with innovation is it never comes from where you expect it to come from. And so speed of responsiveness, understanding what's happening in the marketplace and being decisive about moving on something that you can see as a value, uh, I think is, is the way that one has to be behave. Uh, but the internet now is the lab. And that's really the key to this. And that's why we are seeing acquisitions at a, at, a, at a growing rate, why we are seeing businesses looking much more aggressively around uh, a consolidation and at partnering, uh, and at not looking to try and solve everything in-house in the way that perhaps tr traditionally they may have done. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, that the in-house team doesn't have a very important role. On the contrary, in fact, what it means is that they actually have to be more active and more dynamically engaged in the needs of the business, but also more outward-looking and willing to partner and to be flexible in terms of how that works. That, that again, is, is, is probably the single biggest cultural change um, on the technology side that's, that the companies need to contend with.